haven't seen you in forever. It's been too long. Too long. Too bad. Not too bad. Uh, you know, just keeping busy, staying out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. How's Sandy? Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. Is that Gavin? I'll be right down in just a second. <laughs> yeah. They Rest of the family's good, yeah. Okay, okay. My God, where have you been the last few years? And how's your dad? Where's he been? Oh, he's good. He's doing, he's doing really good. Doing really good. Moved up to Huntington Beach. Moved up to Huntington Beach, yeah. Yeah, um, but he sends his regards. <laughs> You're not moving up there too, right? I mean, I can't have both our downtown ambassadors. Nah, 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 I'm not. And we won't, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, gosh. So how's the shop going? Oh, wonderful. Well, they're beautiful. It's all this new downtown development. It's, Bringing all kinds of traffic. Oh, well, that's good. Which brings me to the point of my visit. Um, so I started this uh, this publishing group. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's called the Azimuth Publishing Group. You know, and um, right now we're just gonna start off with you know comic books, but we're eventually we're gonna cross over into you know games and, and film. You know, and who knows? <laughs> the sky's definitely the limit. Well, that's right. I, you know, since you were this tall, I remember you in here reading comic books. And, Coloring and drawing. That's yeah, good. That's yeah. very good. Yeah, thanks, thanks. And right now I have this growing group of talented artists and writers, mm -hmm. you know, and actually right now we've just been using Jeannie's Java down the street as like our meeting place. Jeannie's? Right? Yes. How's she doing? She's doing well. She's doing really well. You know, um, I, I think the issue is we just basically outgrown the place, you know, and I just was just thinking maybe we can just start having the meetings here instead, you know, as, as long as it's not inconvenient. Well, of course not. This isn't going to be an all-day thing. Oh, no, 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 no. An hour, hour and a half tops, you know, yeah. But the meetings have been getting pretty large, so I promise to, you know, we'll keep it moving if we interfere with any of the business. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Just uh, remember us little people when you become rich and famous, okay? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> One of those two wouldn't be bad, actually. Or I can just emulate you who seem to juggle both pretty well. Oh, stop it. You act like you're going to get free food out of this. Hey, hey you got to try one of these cookies, though. They're outstanding. Huh? Huh? <laughs> this is a good cookie. Do it. Mm -hmm. oh, mm. You know, I have a few of these and a medium caramel. Oh, God. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Look at you. Oh. Uh. I still have my little cookie monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't love us anymore? The way that you've been around. You know, I just went up north for a while to make sure mom and dad were settled in and, you know, and was in school for a little while, you know, how crazy that gets. And mm -hmm. after that, you know, it just kind of got a little... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, that story's not going over well. Not really, no. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I just, you know, I guess I just kind of got bad at not managing my time and coming around is all it really boils down to, so. Yeah. But you know what? I promise not to do that again. Uh, you have my word. I won't do that again. That's what I love about you. You're always honest and face up to the truth. That makes it so far. Hey, Sandy. You're starting a comic book company. Right. My little cookie monster is also little Michelangelo. Yeah. You know, I still have those pictures that you drew me back when I was sick. Wow. Wow. That's... <laughs> You look fantastic, by the way. The ageless wonder. <laughs> by the way, um, how old were you when you started working on, I mean, with Tom? <laughs> Do not be fresh. Well, you know what? You'll be seeing a lot more of me in my pictures because we'll be holding our meetings here every Saturday. Good. Good. Do you tell Tom? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Anything you need just ask me. But, yes, actually, yeah, there is, there is something. Don't worry. I won't call you a little cookie monster in front of your employees. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate it, but it's, it's not that. It's not. Um, I just want to know if I can move one or two tables around. Sure. That is how to work just fine. Just double check with Tom. Sure, sure. I'll do that. It's, it's great to be home. It's great to be home. <laughs>
Jeez, here. Although, you know, I would make this into a round table if I could. Still, Pendragon always kept some form of crown at the round table, so the knights never forgot who that was. You know you're going to make me go and look that up now, right? This isn't bad. There must be another cafe. Yeah, I've been coming here since I was a kid, you know, so, um... No, I mean, it's, it's a big place. It's a nice place. You know, food's great. And I'm really good with the owners, so that's how that works. So why didn't you come here first? Well, I mean, everyone already knew where Jeannie's was, you know? And besides, it's just a very personal and private place for me. Let's get our azimuth on. Mr. Rosales, inform everyone the party can start. Ha <laughs> ha, party! Uh, what's up? What's up, How's it going? <laughs> Man, the food actually looks pretty good here. It's good, it's excellent, trust me. The music's alright too. Thought it, Thought it was gonna, gonna be another cafe. cafe. What is it with this cafe issue? I mean, seriously, what difference does it make? Symbolism, man. Genie's job has felt small, you know, personal, independent. It had a limited food selection, but whatever it served, it served just right. You know, it's kind of like us. It was like our birthplace, but we just left it. Yeah, that was a cool place. I mean, gentlemen, we just outgrew it. We outgrew it. Yeah, but I don't think all those guys that showed up the last few weeks will keep coming back, so we could have stayed there. I can tell a lot of them thought this was an instantly paying gig. Yeah, you know, most of them had a lot of talent, but none of them had the sense of direction that we were really looking for. And you know what? That's why they came to us. Yeah, but they don't really get the big picture of what we're doing here, so they won't have the discipline to stay the course. That's a very adult observation coming from our youngest member. Well, we actually sat down to analyze this and realized that half of them will leave before the year's end. Uh, Who's we? Well, me, Preston, and Remy. There, the beginning of an unholy trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Most. Oh, Remy's the Holy Most. Oh, that's priceless. <laughs> I can't wait to tell him. Wait, well, when do you talk to Remy? I haven't seen her from him in weeks. Yesterday? Yesterday. Where? Hanging out at Horton's? Well, I'm, I mean, our man is hard to keep up with. I mean, he's got like, what, like 15 jobs? <laughs> 15. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, he started running that uh, op-ed piece, uh, what was it called? Uh, Grey Matters. Yeah, that's right, Grey Matters, for the computer magazine. Man, that is such a cool title for a column. Wish I thought of it. Hey, is it true that our boy went to Yale? Yeah, yeah. Wait, did you say Yale? Or jail? Wait, wait, guys, guys, did he mention anything about an investor he was supposed to be researching for me? Mm, not that I would call. Nope. Well, why don't you just call him? You know I don't work like that. You know I don't. I mean, I'll give you the room to manage or ruin yourself, either or. You know, as a team, I'm assuming everyone's gonna handle their assigned business and get back to me accordingly. And we do. Remy's probably just trying to get everything straight before he brings his info back to you. I mean, in his dramatic fashions. I mean, Remy is a core member, just like each one of us. I wouldn't question his motivations or loyalty. Oh, no, I'm not doing that at all, you know. Remy said he had a lead on some potential project for us and a, an investor that he was supposed to be researching. But all I'm looking for is an, is, a, is an update. That's all I want. Okay, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll ask him when we hear from him. I think he said he was out of town, right? I think he said the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Compliments of the owner. Oh, yes. Thank you. And can I get you guys anything else? Uh, can you get a slice of that carrot cake, please? Sure. Anything else? Whatever that is, I'll have one of those to start with. And for you? Just some water for now. Thanks. <laughs> Service too. That sells it, Mr. Davila. I like a new cafe. Agreed, Mr. Rosales. All s cafe azimuth, all systems go. The eagle has landed. And I said Yale, not jail. <laughs> Don't worry. We probably negotiated to do both. Probably. <laughs> oh, snap.
the tea shop. Hi. What the hell's going on here today? I think they're recruiting people to make cartoons or games or something, probably for that cartoon convention that's coming up. Oh, you mean that comic book convention thing? Yeah, have you ever been to one of those? Nope. Neither have I, but I really want to go this year. I heard it's a lot of fun. I can imagine. You're new. Yep, three weeks old. What can I get for you? Um, do you know what an Aspen Delight is? That's not on the menu, is it? No, nope, but you guys sure know how to make the best ones in town. Okay, um, what's in it? I don't know, I just order it and he knows how to make it. Okay, uh, anything else? Um, no, but can you make that to go, please? Go, that'll be three seventy five. Mm. Oh my god, this is good. Did you make this? No. I Congratulations think. anyway, you're no longer new in my books. <laughs> Thank you. That is a beautiful bracelet, by the way. Oh, yeah, my father sent it to me from overseas somewhere. You don't know where? Remember, like he does business in a bunch of different countries, and I don't really get to talk to him much anymore, anyway. You know, it was nice when we were little. Got to travel all over the world and got to stay with him in so many different places. Is that where you got your accent? What accent? And we're out. Well, we'll let Remy know to call you if we hear from him. Right. Next week. Bye, Ev. Bye. Mr. Rosales, inform everyone that Elroy has left the building. <laughs> Elroy. Oh, wow. You okay? Yeah. Just uh, let's uh, rearrange these tables, get them back in order. Wonder duo can be. They do have a point, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. I was checking them all out today, and I'm afraid Preston's prediction will come true. I felt that too. I really did. Uh, but it doesn't change what we have to do, Ed, and that's pretty much to keep going. I know. But it would be nice to have more people to give us, you know, solid core numbers. But yeah, of course it would, of course it would. You know? But I have faith in the team we have right now. I do. <laughs> It'll free both of us up for more creativity and less management. <laughs> you know that will never happen. You know that's not going to happen. You know, for, for me at least. Uh, as with this is on a good head, we're on a good head. Just. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Are you Gavin? Uh, yes, it was inquiring. Uh, I'm Wallace. We spoke last week about meeting today. Oh, yes, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, this is Evan, a founding member of the group. Hi. Hi. Sorry I'm so late. I take care of a couple of errands and kind of stop by and see what the place is. So, <laughs> should we get to for next week? Uh, no, no, well, you know, I see you brought some work with you. I have a minute to check. Hey, Evan, do you have to leave now? Or? Uh, no, I've, I've got a minute. Great. Okay, so, how'd you hear about us? <laughs> At a swap meet. <laughs> a swap meet? Yeah, yeah, um, I was picking up some electronic parts and I came across a stall selling comic books. I've been busy and quit buying for a couple of years and 
I was amazed at all the new companies that have popped up, like Pfizer and Magi, with all their unbelievable art and characters. So I got into a conversation with the vendor about having ideas and characters of my own, and that's when he told me about you guys. <laughs> Today, the swap meet. Tomorrow, the world. <laughs> so he looked up your information for me, and here I am. Okay, what do you have for us? Oh, okay. Um, well, I grew up on comic books, and I like to both write and draw, but I say the edge goes to my art side. I'd love to get into the business if I could. Shouldn't he go outside while we review this? No, this will just be a spot check before we give him the actual test. Oh. Um, what do you do for a living? Oh, uh, I document software programs for a graphics company in Sorrento Valley. Pantera Optographics? Yeah, how'd you know that? <laughs> Lucky guess. Of the few graphic companies up there, it's the only one visible from the freeway. I'm just used to seeing the sign. Did you, did you go to San Diego State? Yes. Okay, how'd you know that? Were you on the debate team or an entrepreneurial <laughs> development program? Okay, now you're starting to worry me. <laughs> well, I didn't go to state, but I knew a few guys on both those teams, and they all picked up that peculiar habit. Of this? Oh. The three finger pen swirl. I do without even thinking. <laughs> um, so, do our members have to be trained by the CIA as well? Because I applied, but they haven't returned my phone calls yet. <laughs> well, you'll find we've got all sorts of talents here, my friend. <laughs> and you have an excellent artistic one that would be welcome with us. Thanks. But we have a formality here. It's a simple test for potential pencilers, letters, inkers, and colorists. It's this covers some of the objectives you have to meet. It's a short script that you'll interpret in your own particular skill set, and then we'll review it. <laughs> and uh, the group will, the group is satisfied, then you'll be voted on for membership. There's a lot going on here. How long do I have to do? One week. This isn't really only a skills test, is it? What do you mean? Well, you already said my skills are excellent. Isn't this designed to test more than my skills, or if I could follow simple instructions? I don't, I don't follow. Uh, everything's right there, so... What else is it supposed to be? A loyalty test. See, there's enough good elements in this paragraph to steal ideas from, but not enough to steal the whole story. That way you'll easily spot it if a candidate decides to use it somewhere else. I also saw a lot of guys that must have been in this meeting due to their backpacks and portfolios walking down the street and talking in excited terms about what's to come. People don't get that kind of energy by being hired on the spot after just one look at their resume. People gotta earn their stripes around here, don't they? I mean, despite appearances, you guys are deathly serious. Frankly, that's my kind of crazy. I mean, you guys are actually trying to do something here. Oh, we're doing it. <laughs> I know, and I'm sold. So am I. I'll let the CIA know to start returning your calls mm -hmm. as soon as possible. That's what I'm talking about. Attitude. <laughs> it's just the as and way. Speaking of which, how'd y'all manage to get the rights to use Isaac's name? Oh, no, no, no. Not as a mob, as a muff. With a TH. Oh. As in navigational direction. My bad. As it sounds even better. Let me guess. Um, 360 degree perspective. You see it all and you take it all in. Solid guidance no matter which way you go. Bingo. Mm. I have to go, gentlemen. I look forward to you passing the test. Oh, um, by the way, pay some attention to your three point perspectives. They seemed a little off. Thanks. Um, I'll be out of town till Thursday, so just in case you need anything before Saturday. Roger that. That'll be safe. 
this is serious. Are the rest of your members like that? <laughs> okay. Beyond the obvious, that woman is a blade. She's a choice weapon to cut through the heart of matters and getting things done. Well, hold on a second, Tom. Please don't misinterpret any disrespect in that question. Oh, no, no, no. I know exactly how you meant it. That's why I said beyond the obvious. Okay, so, um, you said you ride as well? Yeah. I didn't bring anything in today. Uh, I think my riding is good and getting better every day. Um, I'll bring some synopsis next week along with my test. Please do, by all means, please do. I, the more ideas we have floating around here, the better. -er 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 -er. <laughs> you know, we've got new ideas and stories that should turn this industry upside down. You know? I mean, we, no one has ever seen anything like what we're about to put together. Anything. Well, I have to disagree. Personally, I believe that no one has come up with anything new thematically since the Greeks put pen to papyrus. Okay, then what you're saying is everything in the past 2,500 years is rehashed crap? No, I said nothing new thematically. Thematically, we've seen it all before, but there's always a story out there waiting to be heard. It's just a matter of how you present it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, see, now you're contradicting yourself. Now you're uh, contradicting okay. yourself. Uh, okay, <clears throat> just because you've had a steak dinner doesn't mean you won't try it again with a different combination of spices or side dishes. Thematically, it's the same meal, but you'll appreciate the different flavors or new presentation. Well, that's because you have to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, you still gotta eat. And just like food, entertainment is a necessity, my friend. Right. Not a primary one, of course, but one nonetheless. See, my thing is to just take genuine care of what you feed people and not be trapped by that strict hunt for the mighty dollar. That's when you're tempted to start serving scandalous ideas without any weight, forward thinking, or understanding. Then you get lazy and serve crap. Crap. Make no mistake, I am hunting for that almighty dollar. I'm hunting for it. But only as a side effect of doing what I love to do. I'm with you. But sometimes the obvious has to be asked. So, what is it you love to do? Well, I create. You know what? I love to create. That's what I love to do. You know, do, you, do you know what I want to do, Oz? I, I want to look at things and do things in a manner that has never been done before. Never. You know, I make no bones about my ambitions. None whatsoever. You know, I'm talking about putting together business and product models unheard of. Unheard of. You know, I, I, I want to reinvent the wheel. The wheel. I want to reinvent the wheel. Well, I say we reinvent the road. The road. The wheel now becomes obsolete, and the world has to deal on our terms. You know what? You passed that test, and we'll talk the kind of crazy you've only dreamt of. Okay. So, is this going to work for you? Yes, it is. Uh, this is Wallace. Uh, he's going to be a member of the Asmuth right. Group. This is Tom. Oh, I've always heard this was an excellent delicatessen. Well, thank you, thank you. Apparently you guys have rechristened this a cafe. What's up oh, with that, huh? Well, <laughs> oh, I see you serve beer and wine here as well. Careful, I may start calling you a barkeep. I don't care what you call me, as long as you keep coming back. Oh, we will. We will. Yeah, it's good. Good to meet you.
you just like ice cream. What the hell is the matter with you? I tried to call you several times. Honey, I told you, I had my headphones on, didn't hear you come in. No, not that. I mean, on the phone? Like, I tried to call you from my dad's place, and then my sister's, I even tried to call you from the mall. And then I thought, maybe you were in with your study group or something. Saturday. Oh, so what, Saturday is now a no study day? I just try not to do it on the weekends. What happened to that internship thing, huh? Ooh, uh, the one with the investment company. Yeah, um, well, they called and found out it was filled, so... I mean, it would've been nice to get, but no big deal. You know, whatever. You know, it'd be nice if you got a fancy job, but, like, you shouldn't ignore the little ones either. I mean, even if it's just moving boxes or mopping floors or flipping burgers, just do something. Look, I know things are tight right now. Tight? You call this tight? Oh, this is not about me, Mark. Okay, I'm the one that's got your back. And if I have to be a goddamn drill sergeant about it, so be it. You know, you are going to do well in whatever you decide to do, Mark, even if it kills me. I don't care. Oh, my God. Bran, would you look at yourself for a second? Could you get any scarier? I just you're my baby, and I love you. But I just want you to succeed on your own terms. That's all. Are we okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So, did you talk to your dad about maybe getting me a job, or an internship, or? Anything with one of his companies, or? It wasn't that. Why didn't you just call before you drove all the way up? Well, I did, and Sarah told me to come over, but he wasn't home. So then I ended up staying for breakfast, and I played with the dogs. So why can't you just call him and ask him? You don't understand. I told you already, I'm pretty sure he likes you. He's probably gonna say yes. It's just I can persuade him a lot better in person. Mm. I'll find a way. Besides, I mean, if I do it in person, I'll leave little to my room for my mother to get involved. Why would she get involved? I mean, what, they've been divorced for how many years? Mark, will you stop acting ignorant? You know she doesn't think that much of you. I'm telling you, do not underestimate that woman. I mean, if she somehow figures out that Dad was involved, I mean, she has enough connections and power to destroy whatever division you're in. And I'm talking an entire division. Oh, she's a fucking hurricane! Really? Hope it's not passed down genetically. What? What was it? I... Ah, uh, I was just saying that hope you realize it's not exactly making it on my terms if we go through your day. Of course, but... I mean, you don't want to ignore the opportunity to do something nice. Hey, by the way, I was over at the cheese shop and I think they're holding interviews for some comic book convention. Yeah? Well, yeah, you might want to go over there and check it out. I don't know anything about drawing comics. Well, no, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could do accounting or something. I mean, just go, but who cares? I just go see what they're doing. Now? Well, not now, silly. But I think that they were leaving anyway as I left. But I overheard them saying something that I think they have meetings next week. 
Yeah, okay, fine. Hey. You alive, buddy? <laughs> Hell yeah, babe. Do you want to go out tonight? Oh my god. You're ridiculous. Aren't you the same girl that just got done busting my balls for not doing my homework? We have some incentive. Don't you? Whoa. No ties, but you passed. <laughs> Three point perspectives were hard enough without throwing in characters and dynamic poses. All right, uh, but um, that's it. I mean, aren't I supposed to get voted on by the other members of the group? Uh, not necessarily. The rule is whoever's here gets to vote, and today it's just me. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> you know, I have to say. There was a guy that just left here with supposedly a degree in the damn field and didn't do half as good as you did. Art major? More like a pain in the ass major. Uh-oh. I hadn't even finished describing the test when he goes into this long rant about how I really didn't know anything and all art is subjective. Oh, and, you know. God. Yeah. 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 Although true, that little battle cry is a warning that the speaker is trying really hard to justify his work to an audience that just stayed by him. Ex exactly, exactly. And get this, get this. So he gets defensive and, you know, attacks me and this group for being unprogressive, etc. Forgetting, mind you, that he came to us because he liked to tell when he saw in our work. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, not to interrupt you guys, but uh, what are you guys working on? Oh, uh, we, we started a comic book company and just were looking for extra talent. Really? Uh, artists? Writers? Do you guys self-publish? Yes, yes, and guess what else? Yes, all of the above, my friend. Cool. Well, I've got some sketches I've done. Um, would you guys mind taking a look at it? Well, uh, at this cafe, we stopped serving lunch and torture at 1 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's fine. I'll risk it. <laughs> okay, um, can you wait outside so we can review it? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, he hasn't taken the test yet, so why make him wait outside? Shouldn't we just offer our opinions to him on the fly? You know, I, I don't want to deal with the interruptions, you know, I don't want to deal with, you know, the, the, oh, the, the paper was too rough, or the, the pencil was too short, or, dude, my dog died that day, you know, or, 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 I have trouble drawing feet, you know, you know how, how hard that can be, don't you, you know, or, or the, you know, just, just let me show you a better image, please, you know, just, ah, gee, just, just, please, just, let me absorb the damn work so I can decide what I want to ask. My know? dog died that day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, you've got to tell me some of the stories about the guys that try to get in here. You don't want to know. Trust me, you don't want to know. You know? Right. But everyone stands outside. Everyone. If they're serious about doing this. You know? Actually, that's it's, it's the most respectable thing to do for both sides. Let's... This isn't bad color work. Check this out. Okay, well, I've seen enough. It all looks good to me. Yeah. Okay, you're the expert. What do you think? Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. Let's see. Let's see. Let their smoke. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, you can come yeah. on back. All right. <laughs> okay, well, um, it sucks. No, no, not exactly. Basically, we've got a simple test. <laughs> not that simple. Basically, we've got a simple test for potential pencilers that'll cover some objectives you have to meet. It's a short script that you'll interpret your way 
and then we'll review it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're more than welcome to take the test with you, uh, but you have to bring it back within a week. What do you do, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, for a living? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a, a product manager for Sandals, the clothing retailer. Uh, I've always had a thing for art and design, and so sometimes I'll head down to their ad and marketing department and watch them work their magic. Uh, but I've been working on my portfolio, and I've just been thinking about going back to school for it. Okay, the, uh, the marketing or the art? The art. I already got a degree in business from Redmond. Oh, me too. Uh, state. So we also have a need for writers. I think you can swing that. <laughs> nah, I'll just stick to graphics and illustrations for now. Thank you. Hey, so um, we'll see you back here next week. Yeah. Um, you guys here every week? Yep. Same time, same place. It's our, our unofficial office. Do you have an official one? Actually, in the middle of negotiating for an half studio slash office, you know, about two blocks up from here. Okay. Uh, is there a number I can reach you? Yeah, yes, it's uh, right at the bottom of the test there. Uh, okay, cool. It, you are? Got it. Monty. Nice to meet you. Waltz. All right. Well, then, uh, cool. Nice to meet you guys, and uh, I'll see you next week. All right. See ya. I guess, actually, I think that's probably the first time. Huh? You know? Well, it's so, cool. You know, never know. Diamond in the rough, right? Yeah, and we're just starting out, so, you know, it's just kind of... Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Who was that? I don't know. Look at that. You're not that good. It's incredible. 
I, 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 I see talent. You're good. Yeah, but you're just not. Like, yeah, it's it's really it's good. It's diverse. It's what I it's what I see. It's, it's not all just one flavor. He does different things. Oh yeah. <laughs> I see. I like. I don't know. You're good for speech. For the first time. I know. Right. I'm I'm loving it. I love it. I love it. Well, the man delivered. The man delivered. I say it's solid work all around. Solid? Solid! Man, this is harder than still plating on a battleship. I can't believe the difference between what he showed us last week and this. It's, it's like two different people. Uh, you know what else? I think a style fit nicely on the Omega Crew series. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely put some ink into all these. Oh, yeah. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I definitely need to see, uh, verify how fast he can plate each page. I need to do that. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty yeah. important. I don't want him dragging his feet on this stuff. Thanks, you gonna be long at the mall? Nah, I'm just gonna be checking out a couple of sales. What's up, man? Alright, how you doing? Doing good, man, doing good. Hey, I was here last week, I saw you talking to that comic book guy about taking some sort of a writer's test or something like that. How'd it go? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, it was a page script that I had to interpret and make comic book pages out of. It was really fun. I dug deep and did things that were that I never thought were in me. My best work ever. Nice, man. Think you're gonna get in? I got a good shot at it. I mean, I really like the vibe of these guys, and it'll be cool to be a part of what they're putting together. What exactly uh, are they putting together? Uh, they're into creating and publishing comic books, and from what I gathered last week, they got a lot of good ideas. And a lot of good business ideas, too. Nice. What are they paying? <laughs> this isn't a regular 9 to 5 type gig. I mean, not yet, anyway. But they have a fair payment and percentage structure for the work done. That's all I know for now. I mean, I'm not in. Yet. <laughs> Man, this guy's got speed as well. He's gonna be dangerous. I'm sorry, but I say we give him another test, live, see if he hires someone to do this for him. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, it's that different from what we saw last week. You guys should have seen this. I, I, I'll give you that. It, it is that different. I, that's getting hurt. You know, we're just asking to reproduce one of these panels. No, 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 no. Verbally describe a fresh scene and we'll watch him not only lay out the camera angles, but begin to flash the sketch. Shoot. There uh-huh. you go. Right. Good, 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 good idea. idea. I like it. I like it. Good idea. But we can't be late for the meeting with the printer, so it better be fast. Okay. All right. Yeah. So once he proves his newfound skills, everyone agrees to vote him in? Yeah. All right. So, uh, there are a lot of people in the group? Uh, I've only met a few, but they said there's a lot more. Cool. They need new writers. Uh, yeah. Were you a writer? I'd like to be. Mind if I take a look? Oh, uh, yeah. Th- these are just some. These are just some notes. So uh, not really anything concrete or anything like that. So. Oh. Man, I hope they hurry up. I have to pee really bad. I'm not going to walk in and interrupt their powwow. Okay, well, there's a bar there, 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 there. Why don't you just go to one of those? I, I want to be out here when they come get me. I mean, I think I kicked some ass. I want to see the reactions while it's still raw. Yeah, because that's what artists do, huh? Kick some ass and then wait for the raw reactions? Yeah. Ugh. We suffer the unbearable sometimes for the sake of that moment when the work you love is justified.
Okay. Okay, listen. You, sir, have demonstrated an amazing, amazing set of skills. We were not expecting to consider the samples you shared with Wallace and I last week. So, um, let me be the first to welcome you to the Asthma Publishing Group. With one stipulation. Just one. Okay, the skills you displayed were so so incredulously night and day that the members want to see you do an impromptu test on one panel, this one, that we'll, we'll describe for you right now. Deal? All right. Sorry. Alien possession is not unheard of, so who are you? What have you done to mom? I'll draw whatever you guys want right after I take this massive piss. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take care of it. <laughs> so you know he's probably about to go do that now? Okay. He's going to go into the bathroom. You know, look around a little bit, you know, open up the bathroom commode, probably check the toilet paper, place the alien ray gun there, grabs it, comes out, blasting everybody at this table. <laughs> alright, alright. Pacino? <laughs> Restaurant scene? The Godfather? Wow. What? Oh, God. Where's the scene? Oh. Sorry. Pricing at the warehouse from Shadow Force's issue four should push his abilities. Yeah, right. I think so. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> okay, let's do this. What's the scene? Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, look out! Here comes the body. Feel the body. <laughs> feel the body. <laughs> it's a warehouse scene. Okay, it's a warehouse scene. It's a double page bleed with a one quarter panel inset at the upper left corner. In the inset. 
Uh, dark vigilante characters coming through an overhead skylight with repelling type equipment. Now the camera angle in the inset is looking up at the character who's dressed in SWAT type gear. That's a little more advanced than what we're accustomed to seeing. It's okay, just go out there and, and just present your idea and you're gonna be fine. Now, I want strategically placed Kevlar plating, but flexible and practical. And a face uh, obscured by helmet goggles and a black ski mask. Don't worry about anything. Just, just, just go on talk and uh, they'll love it. They'll love their, they, they, I mean, they seem nice enough. Now, in the devil page bleed, we see the character landing on an open area of the floor surrounded by warehouse crates and moving equipment. Get Brandy off our backs. Uh, there's a bad guy about to shoot a kneeling man who's pleading for his life. And the shooter surprised, as are half a dozen other bad guys who are now reaching for their weapons. <laughs> now, simultaneously, through a couple of warehouse entrances, there's a bunch of ATF agents bursting in, weapons drawn. <laughs> Originally coming in to say about pleading, man, our vigilante character is now essentially caught in the middle of a potential crossfire and is undecided as to what to do. But the body's pose and tension should indicate this. <laughs> All right. Uh, what kind of soundtrack you want with that? <laughs> My man. See, so there right. you go. As with attitude is what I call that. You want to do this here over there by your girl? What girl? Your girlfriend's sitting over there. Although I'll certainly understand if it's difficult to concentrate around her. <laughs> That's not my girl. I have no idea who that is. But she just said but She that... laid all your business out. Oh. Whoa. That woman is Kukuduku. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? And so you really you don't you really don't know that girl? No. You got this. Really? I mean, she, she was going on about how you really need to work, although she's coming to school expenses. I, I haven't returned to school yet, and I have a job. I'm telling you, I don't know her. She's probably here with that guy. Oh my god, you did something. What the hell are you doing here? What happened to the mall? I had a parking space opened up around the corner as I was leaving, and... I just thought I'd come see how you're doing. Babe, I'm so proud of you. I told you, didn't I? I told you you were going to pass the test. Who the hell is he? Wasn't he with you when I went to get you? Yeah. I mean, he was asking me questions about the test and you guys, but, I mean, I just met him outside. I've seen him in here before. Wasn't he here last week? Oh. Uh, pass the test? What did you do? What? I said, hello? And they told me that you had passed the test. They said you just had to take one more to prove how good you really are. What? Okay, all right, you know, not a big deal, not a big deal. Uh, we'll figure all that out later, but right now you need to be going, Miss, because I have to leave pretty soon. You're not expecting me to finish this all in 15 minutes. No, 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 but I'm expecting you to verify through the pencil behind this. Oh, all right, yeah. All right. Jesus, Brittany, I haven't even introduced myself to them yet. They're probably over there thinking that we're crazy. Well, you know, they're the ones who are crazy because they acted like they knew you already. They knew you were in school, they knew how you pay for it, and everything. Why the hell would they lie to me like that? Because they probably thought that you were the other guy's girlfriend. He's the new guy that came in here to take the test today. Jeez, Brandon, why don't you just go to the mall or something for a while? No, you know what? Forget it. I'm already here. I'm going to wait. Could you imagine getting a job and not doing the work and how then having to produce it afterwards? Exactly. But how would it oh, look? It'll drive me crazy. Are the sandwiches okay over here? Oh, yeah, yeah they're fine. It, we're in deep work mode right now. We're just, oh. just clamping down. But I promise you we will, we will devour this in a second. It's, I'm, I know it's soon. Hopefully. All right, let me know if you need anything. Sure. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.
too much talking, not enough eating. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All this work is starting to kill me. Hey, what you drinking? Oh my God, just take it. I'm gonna go talk to them. Whether or not it was him, I'm not sure. Brace for impact. Hey guys, what's up? Um, look, I I'm sorry about the mix up. My girl thought that I'd introduce myself to you guys because I told her that I was going to try and um, well, join you guys' as group today. Don't, don't even worry, I, we figured it out. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be an interesting story later. <laughs> yeah, well, but, Okay, so what do you do? What's your what's your skill? What's your modus operandi? Um, well, are you guys still looking for writers? Actually, yeah, what we're really looking for is just whether or not you know how to tell a story. Yeah, um, I I think I can. Okay, yeah, something we can look at right now? Um, actually these are just a couple of notes I have about some story ideas, but nothing really that you'd wanna Well, you came to the party, so Dance. Okay. Um, well... Um, right, okay, well, I don't exactly have any comic book... Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, listen, okay, listen. We're not just doing comic books, okay? We're not just doing comic books. We're a content house. We're willing to produce anything that makes good reading and entertainment. And although we're primarily producing in comic book format, to be accepted as graphic novels, which have well established themselves as respectable adult fare. So, if you have serious adult literature, as your girlfriend put it, it just might fit our mission. So what are your ideas? Right, right, um, graphic novels. Okay, um, well, I, I was thinking that... Just thinking that... I was thinking about writing a play, but in a sort of stream of consciousness format, but punctuated with key statements in a metered way. But those statements can then be the images you guys use to create your comic book panel. Then when all the images or when all the statements are strung together, they form an overall statement and therefore the story. I thought that this would allow for the story to be interpreted in so many different ways that the audience would have no choice but to reread it often so as to get something new out of it every single time. Okay, um, I can tell you now, your approach sounds very avant-garde, very. Um, you know, it'd be an interesting thing to pull off. I'm telling you now, that the trick is going to be to provide the narrative that lends itself to the sequential art, in conjunction with instructions or, you know, some discernible guidance. Sequential art requires crystal clear narrative. Yeah, well, won't the panels provide that? Sure, exactly. After, after the artist has interpreted your narrative, Okay, um, but wouldn't the poetry of the words themselves be subjective to the artist's or penciler's drawings and then the penciler's drawings be subjective to the audience? I mean, all art is subjective. Right? Right? Okay, I'll tell you what we can do. Okay, go home. Play with it, fondle it, put it down on paper, bring it to us the weekend today. You know, we'll we'll review that as our writer, writer's test, you know. You you have quite a few elements that we argue here, I'll give you that. But ultimately it means nothing if the penciler, as you appropriately identified, cannot interpret what you're laying out. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Do that and we'll work from there. Okay, cool. Um, I'm Mark, by the way. Yeah. Loss. Evelyn. Okay, um, so 
this time next week then? Sure. Can I ask what you're studying in school? Um, well, right now I'm just working on my associates, but I was thinking about going into finance. Huh. And you're interested in writing. Can I ask what inspired you to make this approach in making a comic book? It's very unconventional. And I'm just curious as to what your influences are. Well, I've, I've read a lot of stuff that's not your, um, well, typical mainstream crap. A lot of stuff like, lately I've been getting a lot into Asian writing, such as the Japanese haiku. Also, I've been following a lot of kabuki theater. Are, are you familiar with haiku? The Shiki or Pre-Shiki era. Might as well go with Matsuo Bacho if talking about the Pre-Shiki era. But if you prefer the Shiki era, Kiyoshi Takahama was the most prolific, if not authentic. Oh my god, are you serious? You follow haiku? <laughs> not exactly. My ex is Japanese, but I do know enough to predict that what you're about to do is crazy. See, there you go. As with attitude is what I call that. I like it. <laughs> but think of the glory if you can pull it off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, so next week then. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and sorry about the mix-up. No problem, no problem. See ya. Alright, see ya. Alright. Okay, enough work. Can we eat? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've been eating. Where'd you park the car? I'm not going to anybody. There's still more. I had like, uh... I had a mess on this machine. Did you say fondle? Hey, in the zone. When I'm in the zone, that's what happened. Why didn't you guys act like you knew Mark if you really didn't? That was so uncool. But you know what? You guys will end up hiring him. You'll see. He gets A's on his writing assignments and everything. Hey, Brandy, let, let's go. And, and we share a lot of good ideas because I have a mind of looking at things in a different way. That's, that's good. Hey, I'll see you guys next hey. week, guys. Sorry about this. <laughs> you know, don't look at me like that. I, I will give the test to anyone who asks. You never know what talent lies beneath their essence. And, and, just like you said, think of the glory if he pulls it off. Think about it. Think about that. He won't, if Kukuduku doesn't make him jump out of a window before then. <laughs> you know, let's just give the man a chance. You know we've seen worse. No, we've we'll give worse. him a chance, all right, but I don't think he stands much in one with her. Smooth jumping there with that haiku knowledge. <laughs> nah, I just made that crap up to test him. <laughs> You're shitting me. <laughs> no, my ex really is Japanese, and ah. his parents turned me on to it a while back. Cool. Well, make sure you're here next week when he comes back with his masterpiece. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> All right, let's see what Mr. Montgomery has for us. Good idea, good idea. How's it all coming along, baby? It's looking good. Should be on pretty soon. I still don't see why you just didn't show him your A paper. Because, Brant, it, it was a really personal story. I, I didn't even show it to any of my official professors. I just showed it to a friend of mine who happened to be a professor. 
was kind of like a creative writing assignment. He liked it and put an A on it. God damn it. No, it looks like it's gonna rain. I'm just so personal about it anyways. Oh wait, is it because that one time that you're going to see your mom and then fall asleep on the train and then... You didn't read it, did you? I mean, yeah, it was about my mom, but there was no train. Well, moms can drive anyone crazy. Oh God, I really don't have the strength to deal with her today, baby. So don't go. Why did she have to see you today anyways? I think Dad finally flies in tomorrow and I think she's got an idea of what I'm up to. No, she doesn't. She just wants you to come over here so she can go. Mark! Hey. Have you seen my keys? Baby, I know I beat you up a lot, but... Oh, that's my job, and I'm not really one allowed to, okay? Just... Just don't let those guys tell you what's going on with your art. Just do the things you love, and if you're lucky enough, you'll find someone that will understand it and want to share it with you. Yeah. Well, I guess it's just about... Kicking ass and waiting for the morale reactions. What? Forget it. Just something a guy once told me about doing work you love. Yeah. I gotta go. Hey, baby, I'm just gonna borrow your jacket, okay? This one's a lot better for the rain. You know, any news that you come back with is going to be better than what I'll be feeling from seeing her. And you know, by the way, I did read it. And I know it might seem that my head's all over the place, but I read it and it was about that one time how you went to see your mom, and she wasn't there. So you waited a really long time in some shitty weather, and then, and then you wrote up a follow-up story about the first story, and it was during Christmas break or something. Thanksgiving. But, but how did you, I, th that was a rough draft that I threw in the garbage. I mean, I thought it was, we're just so stupid. Well, I read it. So it looks like my honey's got some skills. And they're good. So go kick that ass and get some action or whatever the hell it was that you said earlier. Do something, baby. Is 
change venue. <laughs> Walking around here is a freaking science. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Within a year you'll be able to tell your driver just to drop you off. <laughs> That's a bad attitude. I don't see how these guys ever got a foot in the business. I just don't see it. Oh. Don't begrudge them their luck. See, the other foot is outside the business because they don't want to drag in the shit they've stepped in getting there. Keep our integrity, gentlemen and soon we can put up both our clean feet on our respective executive desks. What's with this guy's work? A human leg cannot bend that way unless you were born without knee ligaments. It could be the penciler uh, who was born without finger ligaments or artistic skills. Yeah. So she comes back, like, three hours later, like, I'm like, what the heck's up with that? Oh my god. Craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh, that is so funny. I would have died last week. I wish you were there. You would have been there with me. I wish I was there. What's going on, team? Where's the lethal weapon, Evelyn? Oh, she's just parking her bike yeah. back right over there. She'll be here in about a minute or two. Why, did someone tell her it was going to rain? This one something says something about raining. What kind of bike does she have? <laughs> Don't get too excited, it's only a Vespa. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. What's so funny? Oh. Uh, I, I thought that, like, you thought that maybe it was, um... <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I... Was a good one, actually. Hey, guys. Hey, right. Kylie. When can I get you guys? Um, my favorite sandwich, please. All right. Just a bagel right now. Okay. By the way, you guys are so ruthless. <laughs> Would you rather us be ruthless or toothless, Mr. Oh, as, long as, as long as we are truthless. Hey, man. there you go. Yeah. We're in downtown. Yeah, right so, <laughs> are we going to go over the potential project assignments today? Yes, of course. That's what we're here for. You know? Ah, it's like starting to pour down outside. Not a problem, not an issue. You know, we can, um, we can cut things short today and get people out of here so they can avoid the rain if they want to. Please. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Ah, you know how people are. Any uh, other azimuth guys showing up today? Don't know, and most of all, don't care. Yeah. Listen, right now we're just a conglomeration of handshakes and agreements. All serious members show up and handle business. All others, they miss too many meetings, they get booted and have to get voted back into the group. Because the thing is, no one truly knows when this train will take off, but Tell you one thing, you better be on board when it does. Oh. I know I will. Me too. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, uh, magic number for missed meetings? One. Damn. Oh. Guess I shouldn't. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> I could not believe. Oh, I knew it when you went. Uh, one. <laughs> right after doing the first one. Uh, uh, right I after. I mean, you talk so uh, seriously. Uh, I don't know whether really. he was joking or not. Camera there. Let's go to the circus. Let's go, right? I don't know. I mean, you never know when this guy's joking and when he's serious. He's got the same stoic look on his face. Yeah. What? You know, I'm about to put some mayonnaise on you and eat you like this turtle. Here we go. What up, Ed? 
Hey, what's up? Hey, did you uh, bring that book? Yeah. Well, that Mark guy's coming in today, right? Eh. Uh, did he bother to call you during the week with any questions? Nope. Well, it's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on the Delta Danger, uh, we can have Evelyn letter Monty's first five pages after Monty delivers it. And then we can have Carlos ink them. And Carlos, Carlos, you should be done with the inks for the first ten pages of Shadow Force by then. Yeah, I'm almost done. I got about a page or two left. Alright, good, good. Preston, Mr. Preston, mm. what I need from you is uh, your rough drafts of your Bayou Brew script. That's what I need. Mm. Mm -hmm. I also bought some sketch pages for the um, Skybird art. Good. Oh. Yes, yes. All right. All right. <laughs> so now we'll take look at them in a sec. God. Hey, um, hey, you made it. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Okay, um, you're a little early, but uh, we were just discussing Asimov business. But we'll, we'll get you back to you in a second. Okay, yeah. Uh, do what you guys need to do. Take your time. Hear me. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to you in a second. So in the meantime, I guess you can, you know, I don't know. Um, oh, oh, it's a private meeting. Yeah. I guess I just figured with it being a public restaurant, no, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Ooh. Got you there, baby. <laughs> guess not. Thanks. Thanks. Wow. It does have a point. And point taken. Okay, so we'll go over Preston's sketches right after we address the. Wow. Rim. What's up, bitches? Yes, sir. No, we are in the house. What's Where the hell have you been? I was just picking up some stuff. Hey, I thought this was going to be a, another cafe. <laughs> anyway, listen. I got some serious info to share with you about my company and this animation project that they want to do for them. You mean that uh, magazine? No, 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 no. My real not a fop over at Dynetic. Yeah, no, hey, yeah, anyway, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go over all that in detail shortly, I promise. Yeah, brother, I'm telling you, we be getting paid Remy. fat less than a week if we don't move on this right Remy. now. Remy. I'm just saying. Remy. 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 I'm just saying. Remy, sit down, please. <laughs> <laughs> Zealous? Hey, bro. Hey. Ren. New faces too, huh? Yeah. Amazing Asmuth. Spending with a terrific trajectory of attitudinal triangulation. Gray matters. Okay, you know, introductions can wait. That can wait. We can get, get to that. We were about to discuss some, um, important business items, but in order to deal with your explosive news, you know, you know we're going to switch things around. We're going we're to switch this up. Um, let's just go ahead and get a new membership out of the way, and then we'll come back to the uh, Azimuth business later. All right. Any questions? No? No questions? None? 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 No? Okay. Okay, uh, Mark. Um, okay, what we have here is a potential Azimuth writer. So, um, Mark, um, I'm sorry, what was your last name? Uh, it's Tuvel. Tuvel. Okay, Mark Tuvel. Oh. Mark Tuvel. Mark Tuvel. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all mean to tell me we about to run on Mark Twain's membership? <laughs> nice. What's up, man? Come on. How are you doing? Hey, Mark Tubell, uh, who wishes to join Azimuth as a writer. And for those of us who were here last week, you remember he had an interesting approach to the writing process for sequential arts. And he brought us something here today that we'll review and vote on. Hey, do you wish to add anything? Um, no, I just, I really appreciate this opportunity to show you guys my work. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm psyched. We, we've had a week of anticipation. What do you got for us? <laughs> okay. Um, I, think, I think I have enough copies for everyone. All right. Let's do it.
So, uh, what's in the album, Will Twain? <laughs> it's, uh, it's nothing, it's just a couple of notes. Oh, okay, so, um, if you don't mind, can you wait outside so we can review and comment on it freely? Yeah, sure, uh, whatever you guys need. Sure. Um, you might want to pee first. <laughs> okay. It's getting pretty bad out there. Shouldn't you wait next door? Go wherever he wants. Listen up, listen up. It's real simple, folks. It's real simple, okay? We need these rules and controls in place. Otherwise, what's the point of us being here? Huh? I mean, this isn't about changing personalities or, or babysitting. I, that doesn't mean a goddamn thing to me as long as everyone delivers on their assigned tasks, okay? If, if you have your own personal agendas going on outside of us, if you don't, whatever, I, that doesn't mean jack shit to me unless it interferes with Azimuth business, okay? Because Listen, listen, Azimuth isn't just me, it's not just me. It's all of us, all of us. No, we could disappear tomorrow for clearer, more creative, pastures, whatever. I don't give a damn because at the end of the day, this enterprise will get off the ground, will run, and will be successful, even if I'm the last man standing. Azimuth attitude. Damn right. Speaking of which, we uh, should end this. Whoa, ho, ho. Twain is no joke. Is he crazy? Don't ask me how, but I think this is my fault. Yeah, let's get this over with. Okay, so, um, everyone agreed on the last vote for Mark?
At least we didn't have Kukuduku to deal with. <laughs> what the hell is a Kukuduku? <laughs> Wrong story, Mr. Gay. Wrong story. I hope you like me if I saw something. Damn, Tony! What's up with that? I know everyone who's serious stands outside and I am serious about this. Something the unbearable, eh, Monty? Honestly, guys, I'm, I'm fine. So how'd I do? A lot of stuff to go over. Uh, first of all, thanks for coming in. You know, can't stress that enough. Uh, just as we assumed last week, it was going to be difficult if you can try and do this uh, narrative in haiku. Um, and your, your actual wordplay is very colorful. Very colorful. I, lo I loved it. You know? But the resulting content was, 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 was really very confusing, you know? And you know, worst of all, it didn't even incorporate the elements of linear narrative required by our medium. Well, how could it not? Each passage should form a panel in your head. Well, yeah, in, in, in your head. You know, actually, uh, w w where are you going with the story, if I may ask? Actually, what is the story? I think we're still trying to figure that one out. Oh, well... It's about a girl, a princess that no one understands, who's trapped at an early age in a tower of um, her, parents' her parents' royal kingdom, and she's awaiting their death. Upon their death, the jailer's, um, jailer of the kingdom was supposed to take over the kingdom, and then the jailer's son didn't want- Twain! Your story sucks! Nice. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look, dude, your idea may be good and all, but your delivery is incomprehensible. I mean, hell, I thought it was about some young wood creature about to devour some old mute woman stuck in a dungeon. I mean, hell, new guy of mine in here thought that it was uh, some Asian version of Rapunzel, but with sci-fi technology. Oh, well, if you're talking about the SARS bars, that they contain the cosmofilament. Suck bars, okay? Suck bars. I mean, <laughs> look, dude, I thought they were some broomsticks that vented ambient light or something or caught fire with her bad breath. Look, whatever. Okay? Why should it have to be our collaborative effort to try and decide what the hell you're trying to say? If it's a Beowulf epic you're going for, then go for it. But not like this and not in this format. Unless you got something else up your sleeve, homie. No, um... That's it. I mean, seriously, dude, this is the wrong platform for your ideas. You should know that. Jeez, Mark. Jeez, jeez. You know... Remy may be harsh in his bluntness, but, I mean, you know, ultimately, it, it's, it's the truth. Uh, your ideas have merit. They have merit. I will give that to you. You know, I'm, I can see how your work can be translated into an exhibit of paintings based on your work. I, I can see that. I'm, visualiz I'm visualizing it right now as we speak. But it won't work here. You know, because frankly, we do not have the time to work on this type of project. You know, we just don't. I mean, you're more than welcome to come back to us at a later time if you can, you know, come up with something that's, you know, fits more within a standard narrative. You know, something easily storyboarded. Okay. Um, so, when you guys got it, it didn't make sense to anyone? Maybe on a second reading? Just not ready for haiku? Mark, this is this is as raw as it's gonna get. I mean, go home, recoup, and you know, try it again at a later time. Right. Okay. Can I have my copies back, please? Oh, sure, sure, of course. wasn't to pull it off with azimuth. It was just to pull it off at all. Also, it looks like you left something there on the second page.
Thank you guys. I, um, I'll work on this. Alright, our most sincerest best of luck to you. Thanks. See you guys. Twain is bizarre. Is that in your smell on the way out? <laughs> yep. I don't know how you attract him, Gavin. Remember that one nut job who said, uh, came in here talking uh, about his dog died? Here we go. Oh, the dog oh, died. Oh, oh my god. god. Like what kind of dog was it? What Man, kind of some dog? little Pomeranian. <laughs> yeah. the hell, I don't know. Look, you want to stay and listen to the story at least? Time to get a real train. Ah, what a lot. Don't be like that. Yeah. It does sound like Come a back, plan. please. <laughs> Well, hey, Barkeep, Craig of Patoons. What did I, uh, why was this guy's mess over here? Yo, man, check this story out. There's this one dude. Hey, you know, that story wasn't that bad. Yeah, I realized that towards the end, but the fact of the matter is, that guy really needs to get his act together. I mean, we just don't have the time to, you know, start on his stuff before our next project. Mm. And, you know, if he's really serious, he'll be back. Hey, what was in that note your copy had? Apparently, <laughs> Kukuriku left him a note that said, I really like this one, baby. Especially the part at the end when the jealous son <laughs> lets her keep her kingdom and she marries him, even after losing her own fee. Hmm. <laughs> well, it was very kind of you not to embarrass him further. <laughs> no, that couple still irritates the hell out of me. Hmm. But you know, I, re I remember how my ex used to read all my stuff, and, you know, he provided constructive criticism, and without malice, helping be a better writer and editor, actually. So, why is he an ex? That's another story. Oh. Well, it was kind of you not to embarrass him further. <laughs> Damn, Ev, we're just beginning to like you. Don't be going soft on me. No, no. It just takes an azimuth attitude to put all things in perspective. Mm, today the swap meet, tomorrow the world, huh? Well, these drinks are on me, pretty lady. Thanks. Huh. Read our mind. Yeah. To the swap meet. To the world. And then he runs, and then like this, this line that he says, what was it, what was it? Oh, yeah, he says, by doing this, mm -hmm. I too shall become immortal. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, oh. <laughs>